In order to get into medical school and the world beyond, there are a lot of things that need to be considered, tests that need to be taken, and preparations that need to be made. Leaving high school knowing what you want to be is great, but obviously things can and will change along the way. Therefore, the path that I set out for myself is a rough estimate, and if I decide to go to medical school after college, the path may be extremely different to the one laid out here. That being said, going into college, I would want to major in some form of the sciences, most likely a more specific branch of biology. Personally, I do not think a seven or eight year med program would be for me because there are a bunch of different areas I'd like to explore. So during my four years at college, I'd love to take other classes in computer science and in the arts to try to learn more about different fields, as well as continuing to swim during those four years. During those years, I'd love to work in research as well as get an internship in a hospital or in another area which would give me good experience and look good in my resume applying to med school. During that final year, I would need to study for the MCAT and make sure to get a good enough score to get into med school, which these days is definitely a challenge, but one that you need to take if you're not already on the track to med school. For most schools, I'd probably need to get a score in the low 500s, which is very difficult, along with secondary supplements. The type of physician I want to be could definitely change over time throughout med school, but as of right now, I would like to do something in pediatrics, taking after my aunt, because as many people who came in said, children are much easier to deal with than adults, and I think I would enjoy it much more as well. Assuming I get into med school, the next few years are pretty standard before residency, with more and more standardized tests along the way. During the last couple of years is when I could really decide if I wanted to specialize more or just go into general pediatrics. So for now, I'll just assume that I went into general, which wouldn't require the extra couple years of specializing. I would also definitely enjoy working with the kids and watching them grow up throughout the years, though sometimes the parents would probably get pretty frustrating to deal with when they think that they constantly know better. Overall, I just really want to help out and make sure that all of the kids I worked with were better off than when they came in, and to stop anything preventable from harming an innocent kid. This long journey obviously costs a lot of money. The average cost for four years in a private med school is just under $280,000, and that comes after an average cost of around $140,000 for college, which means lots and lots of debt, which would hopefully pay off later. Lastly, before I go, I'd like to thank Dr. Denise for coming in and speaking to us. Learning about your journey up until and through medical school was amazing. You gave us all really great advice about finding a good mentor through college, as well as branching out and finding interests besides just medicine. Learning about allergies and new developments and treating them was also really interesting, especially because a couple of my cousins suffer from really bad allergies themselves. Your presentation taught us a lot about the journey and made us think about why we wanted to do this instead of just about the money. Thank you again from all of us here in Minimed.